Assalamu alaikum, my students at home, SS1 in particular. Uh, Ramadan Karim. I'm happy to bring this lesson to you via this uh, meeting. In our scheme, we have black woman by Leopold Seda Sego. In our third term scheme, And Black Woman by Liparasada Sego is a poem. And uh, the first thing to take care of in taking any text, I told you before, is to take care of the background of the poet, the background of the poem, and the prose summary of that text. Be it a play, be it a prose work, be it a poem. In this case, this is a poem. So, black woman, Leopold Sada Sego, who is this man? Leopold Sada Sego is from Senegal, is a Senegalese. He was born in 1906 of the Serere tribe in Senegal. He attended Sorbonne University in France and taught in the same university later. Leopold Seda Segor is a distinguished scholar, politician, philosopher, and poet. And uh, it might interest you to know that he became the first president of his country in 1960 at the wake of her uh, uh, independence. So, apart from this, Leopold Sada Senghor has been there right from time fighting for Africans' gloriness. He writes, during Negritude, one of the founders of Negritude, he championed the movement we call Negritude Movement. He championed the, the movement we call Negritude Movement. And at of this time, this Negritude Movement is all about celebrating Africanness. It's all about uh, self-awakening, a kind of a clarion call to what Africans or Blacks stand for. It's all about what? Celebrating the color we call the black. So, all his writings has to do with who is a black man, who is a black woman, who is African, and what have you. So, the pattern of this black woman in particular ought to be specific. The poem is written in response to some of the writers from Europe. Some white writers devoted their good time, right from time, celebrating the color of white women, celebrating who Africa uh, 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 American uh, uh, women are all about celebrating their color, celebrating their hair, celebrating their talk, celebrating whatever that has to do with white as a woman. So, some of these writers, or white writers, are Dante, Boccaccio, Spencer. Edward Yeats, and so many others. A situation Leopold Sada Segos find it difficult. And uh, he feel he has to retaliate through this kind of uh, writing. That's what give birth to this poem called Black Woman. Reflecting on how white writers Praise the color of white women. 
So, from this, enough deem it necessary that writing to let the, the whites know that in Africa we have greatness. In Africa, that that color, there are many things to read. That in Africa, that color of African woman is not all about the color, it's all about genuineness, simplicity. It's all about what? Originality. It's all about what? Core value. It's all about what? Productivity. It's all about what? These are what Leopold said as several crafts this poem around. So, the plot summary. The poem is specifically devoted to a single black woman. The poet paints the woman in question beautiful. The poet deliberately used black or dark women or woman. The beauty of black woman, according to the poet, is natural and pure. And in the continuation of trying to do this deliberately from beginning to the end of this poem, you get to see the poet, the poet Sarah Sebo, using the word dark, black, dark, black, unique, original, and water feel. Let's take care of what we call, let us take care of what the first stanza of the poem, for instance. The first stanza of the poem reads, Naked woman, black woman, clock with your color, which is life, with your form, which is beauty. In your shadow, I have grown up. The gentleness of your hands was laid over my eyes, etc. So, this captured the mind of the poet persona, you put said as ever. Naked woman, black woman. This nakedness does not mean when you say an African woman is naked on the streets or being naked here and there. It's all about pureness. It's all about originality, like, like I said earlier. Black woman, he re echoed the call, telling you that he's in love with a black woman. He's in love with what? The woman you call the black. Not with your what? Color, which is life. That as you are in your clothes, you are all about life. You are all about that an African woman is all about life. That an African woman signifies life. Then, with your what? Your form, which is beauty. And that an African woman is all about beauty. See, an African woman is all about beauty. Whatever around African woman is beautiful. That is what the Bosset Asego has to say in the first four lines of the poem. And he went further. In your shadow, I have grown up. The gentleness of your hands was laid over my eyes. Then, he said about the responsibility of an African woman and what an African woman is there to do for the society, is there to do for men and younger generation. So, that is what this poem is all about. Having said this, the lesson we have taken from this class is on the note that the poem, the black woman or black woman is written by the poet Seda Sego and uh, the background of the poet, the, who, which is the poet Seda Sego himself, has been addressed he comes from Senegal and uh, he graduated from Saboni University in France and he taught in the same school. And uh, the most interesting thing to us is that this man became the president of his country, the first president of his country, after they uh, got or attained their independence. Then, the banner of the poem, I said earlier, the poem is written in reaction to 
how some African, how some European writers praise the beauty of white women. Writers like who? Like Dante, Boccaccio, Spencer, Eliot, and Yeats. So, Nipotella Seca now pick the pains of retaliating right to a kind of uh, write about the beauty of African woman for the whites too to know that being an African does not mean emptiness. Being an African does not mean ugliness. Or having a black law does not mean you don't have anything upstairs. That is all about core value. It's all about what? Responsibility. It's all about what? Uh, taking your society in high esteem and uh, what have you. And the plus summary that follows is all about what? Seeking lyrics or songs of who an African uh, or black woman is all about and what they stand for. How beautiful they are and the responsibility that they are there to carry out and how that has helped our society today. That is the lesson we have taken. And the assignment you endeavor to do for us is analyze the first and second stanzas of the poem. We have interest in those uh, stanzas. Then, other ones, not that you not read the entire poem for your comprehension, you have to read everything holistically for a better understanding. But these two should be taken as your assignment. And uh, you are to get back to me through this number 080-688-44575 via WhatsApp. Thank you so much. And Ramadan Karim once more.